，你同佢問佢去唔去先啦。佢、okay, 有 first taxi in c h e n z h e n 可以啊，随便打个口是吧？随便打。电话电话。Electric. Ask him where's the nearest charging port. The meter is actually incorporated in the info screen. 哦，好。All public service vehicles are electric. This is a rubbish truck. This guy is flying down these really tight roads, but uh, taxi driver knows what he's doing. Talking of uh, e-bikes and e-carts, being able to park anywhere you like. This is on top <laughs> of a uh, pedestrian bridge coming out of a uh, underground station. This isn't our final destination, but we don't know where this place is. This is a charging hub for taxis. Now this is what we need in London for our taxi fleet. Not just one or two dotted around, scrounging to try and fit, find a charger. This hold, I would estimate just by looking at it, round about, 50 charges or so, I would say. Another thing I notice, just everyone leaves their helmets with their scooters and no one will take them. Okay, we've finally arrived. This is allegedly the world's largest charging hub for EV vehicles. I will find out the figures for you guys in a minute. I don't want to put out false information. Last time I heard they had 700 charges here. They've got a maintenance section here and rows and rows of charging stations that I can see. This is a public notice for taxi drivers. Do not fight. If you lose, you go to hospital. If you win, you go to jail. That's quite a good uh, motto, actually. They are mainly taxis here. But they are also private cars. But I think over 600 of these are taxi dedicated charges and the rest are for the public. But this is not central Shenzhen so unless you live around here or you're passing you wouldn't actually make an effort to get here to charge as there's so many places you can charge in Shenzhen shopping centers stations and what have you that's a byd that's a trum chi that's another byd another byd another byd byd is everywhere this brand is quite interesting i have to get to one of these dealers to see what it's all about it's got to be fairly affordable there's many of these more byds and 
rows and rows of charges as far as the eye can see. I'm going to attempt to fly a drone up there to see if uh, I can get a better shot. But I'm not sure if this is a no-fly zone. Right, we just found out the cost of charging. If it's midnight to 8 a.m., six pence a kilowatt. During the daytime, it's 12 pence a kilowatt. This used to be 90% taxis only and 10% for the public. But since the increase of EV cars in China, this whole place is just for everyone now, but prominently the taxi drivers, because it has a restaurant here and a rest area and a maintenance area for the taxis. This place has been open for three years and it's showing its age, but it's still workable. 42 kilowatts AC, these ones. I guess that's our shadow mode. So just a bit of information. Domestic electricity costs six pence a kilowatt in China. Uh, if you have an EV vehicle and a home charger, you have a special rate between midnight and seven, which you can charge for three pence a kilowatt during the hours of the early hours of the morning. Now, um, petrol costs 89 pence a litre for unleaded. Diesel is irrelevant because only commercial vehicles use diesel, but that's at 87 pence a litre. And the correct figures are 630 charges in this area here. And the very first part where I took has an extra 50, which is about 100 meters away from here. That area is dedicated to taxis only. So um, this hub contains 680 charges. Um, that should make it the world's largest charging hub, as to speak. So thank you very much for watching this video. Sorry, the speed of the drone, I'm still getting used to it. Thank you for watching and uh, hope you catch up on the next one. Thank you.